Many times I've heard talk of reunification. I even heard somebody say that reunification will happen by 2016 or 2017. Uh, no. This is reunification of all nine Eastern Patriarchates and the rest of the Autonomous and affiliated Orthodox churches with the Pope of Rome. Mm. The reunion will never happen and can never happen. What would be required for a reunion to happen is for the West, even though the split happened in 1054, but to for the West to reject everything from before, from after the 800s. Every, pretty much everything. And absolutely everything from after 1054. A full rejection of every council and decision made after 1054. Uh, a, re, a renouncal of Transubstantiation, the merit box of the saints, purgatory, uh, penal substitution, satisfactory atonement. Um, the reasons for the Immaculate Conception, although uh, the Orthodox through Theologomena, or as Theologomena, can believe privately in the Immaculate Conception, but not because of the reasons. As said in the other video, we have no systematic doctrine, dogma, or theology. We do have doctrine, we do have dogma, we do have theology. But it's only that which has been revealed and that which has been declared by the councils when they looked back upon the scriptures and the fathers. Whereas the Roman Catholic Church used scholasticism immediately after the schism and started figuring things out about God and the mysteries. You guys call them the sacraments. It started to explain things. Uh, also, hammer and chisel would need to be taken to multiple ancient churches in Rome. First and foremost, the Sistine Chapel. Why? Because even though the Roman Catholic Church upholds the Seventh Ecumenical Council, Second Nicaea, which <coughs> affirms that, <coughs> yes, we can make images of Christ and the saints, and we can ask the saints to intercede for us in prayer, and reverence of relics is fine and Christian, that, rep that representation of God the Father is strictly forbidden that it is idolatrous and blasphemous and evil. Look at the Sistine Chapel. Is that the Ancient of Days, Christ, who is reaching out to touch Adam? No, that's God the Father. And he is depicted as Zeus, a pagan god. The Father is without form, is spatially not available just as the Holy Spirit is. The Holy Spirit can be depicted only in analogy, such as a dove or fire. Reunion will never happen if the bishops try to... Re try to. They did this once before. It was Council of Florence. Almost every bishop agreed and said, okay, we'll come back under the Bishop of Rome. And the people shouted, rather the mitre of, or rather the turban of the sultan than the mitre of the pope. And the bishops either immediately recanted, well, they immediately, many of them immediately recanted because when the bishops returned, the people would throw a rope around their neck and throw them off the balcony. And it said they'd ring like church bells because they're, the way their, their legs would swing under their robes. Or they'd be disemboweled, they'd be gutted like Arius was gutted. But there was a holdout, Mark of Ephesus, who is a saint now. 
And if reunion could not happen when the Orthodox Church was under threat of extinction from the Muslims, it wouldn't be extinct because it cannot ever go extinct, but it's under threat. <coughs> and there were less differences, and I think this was like 1280 or something like that, than today with things like the Second Vatican Council, which are wholly terrible, there, there, it, there can't be. It's just not possible. Now, again, I don't say this out of hatred. I say this out of love, and I encourage all Roman Catholics to continue being Roman Catholics if you want to. You can come over to the East. But um, when I mean come over, I mean enter through chrismation because your baptism is valid. But don't just come in and take the Eucharist. Come, convert, and that'll be fine. But I don't expect that to happen. I encourage all Roman Catholics to practice Catholicism in the traditional way, ignoring the Second Vatican Council, which I believe was a Freemason Council. Peace to you.